Welcome back, welcome spring, and thanks for joining Todd the Gun Guy! If you want to help support my channel, go ahead and get yourself a mug. We got hats, shirts, all that good stuff. www.toddthegunguy.com. Go check it out. If you want a really good shotgun and don't want to spend the money or don't have the money to buy a Benelli Super Black Eagle 2 or 3, get the Franke Affinity 12 or 20 gauge. Finally, over 40 degrees. I've been waiting for this day. As long as the sun's out, over 40, I'm good. Today we're going to talk about the Franke Affinity 20 gauge. It's been looked over for some time now. It's very light, reliable, durable, and uh, good for a wide variety of things. So let's go take a look. Since I was nine, I had the uh, single shot H&R 410. And then when I hit 12, my dad got me a Remington H70 pump, which I still have. It was a Wingmaster, beautiful shotgun. Still works great. From there, I went to the Remington 1187 in 12 gauge. And from there, I went to the Brown and Gold Hunter in three and a half inch for ducks. Sold that and went to the Benelli Super Black Eagle 2 with the inertia driven system in the stock. Getting a little bit older, my shoulders aren't as strong, getting a little bit soft, I should say. And decided to go with the 20 gauge because it's lighter, shorter barrel and 26 inch, easier to swing for doves, ducks, pheasants, rabbits, whatever I have. It's pretty much an all-purpose gun now I use for everything. Let's talk about the Franke history a little bit. Franke uh, started back in Italy, 1868, so they've been making shotguns for a long time. Uh, Beretta Holdings Corp, or Beretta Holdings Company, owns Franke division of shotguns also its sister company which is Benelli you guys have heard of to me uh, I would have to say that this is uh, the lesser expensive model of the Benelli's Benelli's is like the uh, let's call it the Lexus and the Franke's let's call it the uh, Toyota Avalon so I think that's the difference between the two they are manufactured in their own facility and for many 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 Look, years this is a uh, black synthetic stock Black finish, black forearm here. Low maintenance, you gotta keep it oiled clean. But for the most part, compared to the old uh, walnut stocks, it's low maintenance, it's gonna be very light. This thing only weighs about six pounds unloaded. So you're gonna find it super, super light. Almost featherweight to me, since it's a 20 gauge. Pull. Pull. It does have the mount for a sling, for a swivel sling. On the front and the back is a fixed fixed area where you can put the uh, your mount there in the back. It does have your uh, trigger mount of safety here. It does have the oversized bolt release here. So if you're a goose hunter, it's got the bypass system. Right now, let's say I had two and three quarter inch shells in here. For ducks, I had my steel shot. I've got one in ready to go. Here comes some geese high flying. I hit my bypass, manually eject the shell, take my three inch, three inch, drop it in, we're ready to go. Ready to fire, the ones behind it will follow. 26 inch vented barrel, it's gonna come with three different chokes at the end of the gun here. It's gonna come with full modified and improved cylinder. Here's a seven and a half heavy load for rabbits, squirrels, stuff like that. But this guy will work on seven eighth ounce, 1200 feet per second shells. The only ones that I have had problems with are the Rio, RIO, that did have feeding issues or it wouldn't eject. I don't think they were hot enough or for whatever reason, it might even been that the, uh, uh, the shell would open up too much and get caught on the way out. But any federal, any skeet trap load worked just fine. 
So your length of pull, if you've not heard that before, or LOP, is from your butt stock pad here, butt pad, to your trigger. I believe this one is 14 and 3 eighths of an inch. So it is quite a bit. They do make a compact model that will give you a different butt pad, but it will give you shims. I think it starts at like 12 and a half and goes out from there to be longer. It's going to come with three different shims, different angles for your shoulder, so you can actually angle it to make it fit right with your cheek looking down the vented rib of the barrel. The Infinity is going to be available 20 gauge and 12 gauge, and it's going to come in different colors, black, camo. I'll throw those up there for you guys to take a look at. The operating system on the Franke is inertia driven. It's a very small system. It's very clean. So it's not a gas operated system that you have gas blocks to shoot all the powder and fouling back into the mechanisms here. It actually keeps it into the barrel. So you're going to find that an inertia driven system A is very clean. B you're going to have a lot less recoil. It is a little bit different than is the Benelli in the fact that the, uh, the recoil spring is on the forearm here as where in the Benelli it's actually going to be driven through the stock. But any inertia system is going to be lightning fast and bring in the next round and ejecting. Make sure it's empty. One thing I do like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually red. You can actually see at the base plate there in the chamber, you can actually see that it's red. So to hold it open, gotta hit that. It is unloaded, good to go there. And so far, I'm very happy to date with the Franke 20 gauge. Get out, get a Franke in your hands, borrow one if your neighbor's got it, get out to the range, trap, skeet. And until next time, tie the gun guy!